Hey guys, it's Super 8 Bit Ben. I'm back today. I want to discuss 11 ideas that I have for Animal Crossing, possibly for a Nintendo Switch or a future Animal Crossing game that comes after. These are ideas I've had for quite a long time or have just came up with recently, and these are unique to me, so I haven't heard anyone else discuss these ideas. I know that what you call them, the Bit Block, probably did a video on like a concept Animal Crossing game, but I would like to be able to talk about. Some ideas that would be quite useful probably for a future Animal Crossing game. So anyway, so the first idea is that it's going to be an open world, free roaming camera. Kind of like Breath of the Wild or that new Pokemon um, Sword or Shield game. Where you'll be able to run around the world with a free roaming camera around it being like a top down like the past Animal Crossing games have been. I really really want to look a lot like the Mario Kart 8 track which um, looks stunning. If you ever actually explored that map, you can imagine what I'm probably thinking. Um, something even more expensive than that would be even cooler. The other idea is sprinklers for plants or a hose. So if anyone knows anything about Animal Crossing, is whenever you plant a lot of plants, you have to water each of them individually, and this can get really tedious. But I feel like, you know, after a certain amount of plants, you're given like a hose or you're given like a a sprinkler even for like the plants so that you can water them once a day keep an eye on them so they don't die or if you're trying to breed certain plants so just make it easier to keep them going green houses for growing plants or even like things like um, fruits so um, if you want to be able to grow unique uh, species of plants or fruits you have to do it in the green houses that you can buy and customizable boat and you can actually buy pre-made sails or pre-made ships um, that may, may even like resemble certain Nintendo series such as the Wind Waker and the, another thing of the boat I would like to be able to do is free roam to separate islands that may be randomly generated or pre-made um, depending on the day I don't know how it would work but I'd like to be able to explore multiple islands rather than just the one because um, I quite liked and I quite enjoyed going to the island in Animal Crossing New Leaf it was really really cool and you can also do that in uh, the first one, the GameCube. Um, one big unique idea was to have your own like plastic island that you'd be able to customize and expand, and also be able to place furniture outside on the plastic island. I still wouldn't like to be able to put like uh, furniture outside your own house, but be able to do it on the plastic island so it doesn't get in the way. Uh, would be kind of a cool idea. It will still be on like a grid-based system where you'll be able to move it, you know, between the grid. Sorry, this is just a small idea I want to insert in the middle of the video where um, you have a separate section for all your tools rather than actually taking up sections in your bag where you would collect fruit, fossils, other things, um, furniture. You will have a separate section for your tools and you'll be able to upgrade your tools and uh, replace your tools in this particular section. You'll be able to go more in depth with the scuba diving where you can go more underwater. You'll be able to see everything underwater, different types of fish, different types of plant life. I've been playing a lot of Endless Ocean 2 lately and I'd be able, like to be able to do something like that in Animal Crossing, it'd be really cool. Um, they kind of dipped their toes dirty in it in New Leaf, but it didn't really go any further than just sort of going underneath the surface and then picking up a fish. Something else they haven't really done in Animal Crossing was have, have actual caves and they kind of explored this idea in the Animal Crossing movie. The Dobson Nomori, wherever it was, the movie that came out in Japan, never came out anywhere else. Um, there was like a scene where they went inside a cave and they even find like a giant fossil. <laughs> so I thought it'd be cool if they had like sort of a smaller scale version of that for Animal Crossing where you could find fossils, you could find drills, you could find ingots and other things, maybe even bugs in the actual cave. Um, something else I'd like to be able to do is if you're trying to complete the museum, certain parts of the museum, you'd be able to take pictures of the bugs and fish and be able to keep a catalog of what you already have in the museum. There would be like a checklist rather than you having to go back and forth and having to make sure they have already caught something. I remember having to get an app on my phone to be able to make sure I got most of the bugs and fish and I had to have to keep on going back and forth. Why do we have to have a separate app for that? We should be able to have that inside the game. Something else they could do is have cameo appearances from various Nintendo characters have to be animal related such as Pokemon um other stuff I, I honestly can't think other nintendo series will have animals in them right now but like you know you get the example and whenever they come to your town they will give you a special item um maybe you have to do something special for them i don't know but you'll be able to get like a special shirt or a special piece of furniture related to a promotion that nintendo is running for certain games outside of animal crossing or even if you say 
own a game on the Switch, um, you get special items for just owning that whenever you go into your Animal Crossing game. Um, that'd be kind of a nice gift for whenever you buy a brand new game, maybe something like, uh, let's see, if you have, if you bought like Splatoon, you get a Splatoon hat or something like that, something exclusive, just to say thanks. So that, that's pretty much all the ideas I have at the moment. What do you guys think? Do you have anything that you would like to be able to have in a new future Animal Crossing game? I'm looking forward to the Switch one. I also don't know what to expect. I'm just hoping that maybe some of these things may be in the new one. If not, I'm not going to be majorly disappointed. Unless it's going to be like another top-down Animal Crossing game. That's when I'm going to be disappointed. But I think they could do a lot with the Switch one. But I have to wait and see what's going to happen. And if you guys haven't been on this channel before, I've made a lot of Animal Crossing videos on my Minecraft map. I spend about probably about 60 or so hours building that thing and it has become one of the most popular videos on my channel and thank you guys so much uh, it's crazy how many views I got and um, we're almost at 340 subscribers so that's also very cool um, I'm thinking about starting up a patreon so you guys can support me I've been spending kind of some of money on this channel I've never made anything back and I have no job at the moment unfortunately I've lost my job again I like to be able to try and make content for you guys more often. Um, I really appreciate if you guys can support me. You don't have to. Uh, just by watching these videos is actually actually giving me support and showing that you guys are interested. Um, also, if you comment in the comment section below, it shows engagement to YouTube. As everyone says, if you leave a comment, it will probably show more often on other people's feeds. It will help me get more uh, videos out there and then maybe get more people in to help support. Uh, this channel so i would really appreciate if you guys would continue watching my channel the ones that have subscribed stay subscribed and uh yeah i don't know how to add this property bye